What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So following last episode, there was actually some issue with my PCB that I didn't notice until a couple of days later. Now if you look on the left side here, you can see some oil uh, residue. It's because I wiped off the majority of it, but it looks like it had some blow-by issue and it's probably because I didn't actually design my PCB right. So on the right side here, I didn't realize this at the time, but um, yeah, the PCB is here and my backup vent is there, which means it now has to fight through that, which means it's not happening under boost. And I was basically venting off that little tiny hose. Yeah, that was a fail. So what I need to do is move this after that filter, which now I realize that that design of a catch can doesn't really work that well. It doesn't work well because from the valve cover, it goes here and with the vent there, we just go straight up instead of going through the cash can and then venting out. But yeah, that's the design. So I'm going to have to change that a bit. Um, and then also I'm looking into adding in some AN fittings uh, for this side. Well, it'll be a welded piece. It wouldn't be an AN fitting. But I'm going to add a 12 or 12 AN lines on here. So that will be the main vent. All right, so I'm going to start with the back one right here from the driver side because that's the easier one to change and I'm gonna go remove that so I'll put one of this in here oh let me show you guys this thing so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna connect to the catch can like that and then I'm gonna have the PCB valve right there just like that and then this PCB valve right here is gonna get changed I'm gonna put my old one, which is a, a modified one, which is a straight true. So that's gonna go there. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull free air from the crankcase right here, and then actually work through that bypass if it needs it. And then anything that comes out of that is gonna be metered by the PCV valve. That's how it should be working, not the other way I had it, how I had it. So now I'm just gonna put this here like that and put it back. Alright, gonna go ahead and put this back. Alright guys, so driver's side is done. Looks really messy. I'm gonna have to order an actual catch can the way I like it, because that's really messy. And I gotta look to see if I can get a actual um an actual pcv valve like an inline one not the one that you put in a valve cover because this thing kind of steps up a little bit and that should help it clean up a little bit as well as getting some proper fitting for the brake booster but hopefully that works Well guys, here it is. Uh, it looks kind of cool with the way it looks right now. But anyway, I think the next iteration, I'm just going to kind of keep it simple with the PCV. Probably do, do like a 12 AN on both sides and then wrap that to a catch can. Um, this is, yeah. Go ahead and put this on and then go for a test drive. So, made a mistake here. For whatever reason, I thought I had enough clearance when it's pointing up, but I don't. This is the only way I can get it to actually fit. Yeah, great. We'll rock that anyway. Um, my only worry is it's gonna start dripping oil here and then it'll get on my headers and all that kinds of problem. But I should be able to test out the system with a filter right here with the 12 AN and of course that little breather right there and see if that works. And if it does, then I guess I'll finish this off. Right, guys so we're back um, I didn't see any smoke in the front so I think we're good there I gotta watch the video again to see if it build any pressure I think we're good with this current PCB setup now moving forward I'm thinking of buying like one of those double baffle catch can so I could put both of the valve covers 
into that catch can with two breathers that's coming up. Um, I will be keeping my PCB on the back end so during idle it's constantly pulling but under boost when that shuts off I really need something to evacuate all the air inside the engine. Now when I was loading the boost a little bit I saw it I saw the gauge flicker a little bit up and down. Um, that's what I was kind of expecting to happen because of the one-way flow valve that I have on the backup one. So when that opens, it should drop the pressure down. And of course, when that closed with a very little pressure, then it should ramp up the, the pressure on in the engine. Now onto the draggy. Apparently that run was invalid. It was probably because the phone flew off. Um, but that was still 10.27 at 143. And of course your 60 foot is 1.82. So a little bit slower. Now I'm also gonna have to revisit the boost because something doesn't seem right. It feels a little off. It feels like we've lost a little bit of pressure. So I probably developed a new boost leak. Yeah, we'll see. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.